Hey there, this is my first cast ever and today I'll be talking about Sphinx Search Engine and how to install it on Ubuntu Linux. You can use this algorithm to install on Debian Linux as well. So let's get started. Uh, if you're an experienced developer, I always recommend to start with official manual. And the most recent version of it we can find by this link. This is it, we got to find second chapter. Installing Sphinx packages on Debian and Ubuntu. Well, Sphinx requires a few libraries to be installed on Debian and Ubuntu. And first of them are MySQL Client, Unix ODBC, and libpq5. As long as I have already installed them, I'll start with another step. So let's add Sphinx Search Repository. Press Enter to continue. Next, let's make some updates. sudo apt get update. We have already made our updates. Next, we got to install Sphinx itself. sudo apt get install Sphinx search. Ta-da! You have your Sphinx search engine installed. Next, we got to make some configuration settings. My config files are in ATC Sphinx search folder. Let's see what we got inside of it. We got three files, example.asql, Sphinx sample and Sphinx min.conf. Let's see what is inside of them. I got my Sublime text editor. Example.sql It has a DB data for testing purposes and we got to query them. I have my ADSQL. Let's run our query. Let's refresh it <coughs> and see. We have four entries and several fields, and we got to make search by these two fields title and content. Let's make our settings. What do we need? Well, we have two sample files and difference between of them. And what is the difference between of them? Sphinx min.conf.dist. It has minimal Sphinx configurations. And the second one has um, uh, descriptions. Next. Yeah, it, it has. Uh, all options documented. Next, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Sphinx.conf. Yeah, that's it. Default configuration file name is Sphinx.conf. All Sphinx programs look for this file in current working directory by default. So let's create it. Mm -hmm. Sudo copy 
thinks. Let's open it. Mm -hmm. What do we have? We have our source section, index section, index section, and search, search diamond section. Let's make our source. We'll call it documents. my own sample file and I'll just copy it let's see our source is named documents and type is mysql localhost root root and db name is test and we have these options SQL query pre and we just set uh, names let's make it UTF then the main part of our source section is SQL query by which our uh, index file will be built we are selecting ID, title, content from documents and we have another option SQL query info select from documents where ID equals to ID next next we have our index section and we called it documents index and you have to place your index file in this particular path if you don't have data folder you got to create it and let's see our options charts mean word length 3 Morphology, stream N and Russian, uh, and mean word length three, and etc. You can always open uh, Sphinx that conf that sample and see all uh, documented. Then we have another index. Oh no we have index section and we have search diamond section let's leave them now let's make our index index or comment documents index Unknown character set UTF. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah. That's it. Total four ducks, and we have our index file. And then we can make uh, search by this index file how can we do it let's type search I search config 
ATC Sphinx Search Sphinx.conf <laughs> Let's make it two. We have our two query in second by by second ID. Let's check it. Two. Yeah, that's right. Second ID. ID number two. Let's search our this word another another yeah ID number three let's search something that we have in several fields the word test for example that's it document 1, 2 and 4 as you can see uh, the installation part of Sphinx search engine is uh, very uh, convenient and in next steps we'll be talking about how to We'll be talking about how to install a PHP API and we'll search well that's it in next uh, uh, cast we'll be talking about um, another settings about real-time indexes and how to install PHP API and how to use it see ya